intro in my life, man. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Motive Racing. We are live here at Brands Hatch GP for the final round of the Touring Car Championships. My name's Dan Davis, other, than the, other known as Arnold for Dub 16. I'll be commentating the Tier 2s here this evening. And joining me in the commentary box uh, a race early is uh, KLF 900, Kelly, also known as. So, Kelly, how are you doing this evening, mate? Yeah, I'm good, Dan. Yourself? Yeah, not bad, not bad. Looking forward to some uh, great touring car action as we've already had today, and we're going to have a little bit more as well here this evening. Absolutely. We've had round one of the actual touring car championship at Thruxton today. For those of you who watched it, um, no doubt we'll be chatting about and referencing it all the way through the evening, this evening, and through tier two and tier one. Um, but uh, if you enjoyed that, then you'll love this. Definitely so. We are in the final round. As usual, we finish things off at Brands Hatch GP at the uh, British Touring Car Championship. And uh, we've pretty much got the title wrapped up here at uh, Motive with BT Targa currently leading the championship. He has got 187 points. His nearest rival, DeHuis Rocker, 69 points. Even with uh, BT not able to race, he will take the championship as there's only 35 points available and a point for race winner. Uh, uh, fastest lap as well so bt targa this is kind of a, a parade race for him even though he is suffering with wheel issues he's telling us that the wheel is very sensitive and it's not syncing up as properly as it should so the hewis rocker craig stocko and kerr all looking good to be promoted but ukbar is only five points uh sorry <coughs> six points off the back of uh stocko also uh grandad steen is uh, a point behind ukbar there's still available spots for a uh, uh, a promotion into tier one and remember guys top five drivers will be promoted as Kurt there goes a little bit deep into turn one and uh, like I said top five will be promoted into tier two and the bottom five of tier one will be put back into tier two so still spots available for them to go to tier one isn't there Kelly absolutely indeed yeah uh, still still a lot to play for us for some of these guys uh, this evening and as you can see it's absolutely pouring down um, here at Brands Hatch just outside Kent we're on the GP circuit so the Grand Prix circuit not that there's been a Grand Prix here for many many years still only two and a half uh, two and a half miles long the uh, GP circuit so not a huge long track um, it, uh, fair to say, Daniel, that this is a Marmite track. You either love it or hate it. Uh, definitely so. Uh, it's definitely different to the uh, indie circuit, but uh, 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 it's a good and a, a bad circuit. There's, up, there's the fast section out the back end of the circuit, and then you've got the slowy, twisty stuff <coughs> in the mid, at the start. So, uh, in my opinion, it's never been one of my favoured, but uh, to other drivers, they love it. Yes, indeed, and I—I I mean, I'm—I've, yeah, I've, I think I've got mixed opinions about it. Um, there's parts of the track that I like, the GP loop I like, not so keen on the indie part of it, and uh, yeah, I—I I think it's, uh, yeah, as you say, it—it's, you know, it—it favours some drivers and not others. Others can get, some can get their heads around it, and some can't. Certainly iconic, that's for certain, sure. Definitely so, and already the, the house rocker has already set the pace with a 134.6. Uh, the tier two guys have got this heavy rain sticking with them throughout the evening, so they have a lot of uh, hard work for them this evening. But regarding the tier ones, it looks like it's going to be a dry session for most of it, other than the, uh, the qualifying, which will be a wet session. As we see there, BT still struggling with his wheel by the looks of things and not able to put in a decent lap time. But, Kelly, I have a new interesting rule for the new season from after oh, this. I, was, I was wondering if you were going to announce this tonight because uh, uh, obviously I'm doing tier one commentary later and was wondering if I could. If I well, could, uh, I want to make 
I want to make sure that anyone who has signed up for the touring cars, whether if it's the guys uh, tier two who are previously coming back, or the tier one guys, or even new drivers who are wanting to enter the championship, um, if we just go on board with uh, Ukbar at the minute, uh, he's oh, probably a good yep. example. As you can see, Ukbar is running the Renault Megane, and in previous seasons, this car has been ultimately the most dominant car in touring cars no matter what condition no matter what track this car is a little bit overpowered so for next season we will be banning the Renault Megane so there will no longer be any Megans on the grid so the only choices they will have left is uh, Craig is choosing one of them in the Mercedes at this previous time TJ Humphrey would normally be in the BMW but uh, he's sadly not here uh, and the other option is the Astra uh, which is a DLC, so if anyone's interested in driving that, they will need to download it. But, I think, Kelly, with this rule change, it will definitely shake up the grid for next season. People will have to choose different cars. Uh, absolutely, and uh, I think I see uh, I see it's a good move, to be fair, because, um, yes, the Renault Megane is dominant round, uh, or certainly in the dry, uh, through all the tracks. So uh, I think it gives another, uh, another element, because so many guys, I mean, as you can see, I think... Uh, uh, as you say, Craig is the only man on track that isn't running the Renault Megane this evening. Um, as you say, TJ Humphrey normally runs BMW, um, but to be fair, struggles with it. It's The BMW is a great car, but but um, not quite up to the Megane standards. And uh, I think it's a good move. I really do. It's not as consistent as the Megane. It's, it's definitely, for people who've never driven the BMW, it's definitely a handful uh, to race. So uh, it's always interesting to see how people will get on with that. Um, also, uh, the options are with the Mercedes and the Astra, they're slightly slow. Well, the Astra is actually on paper the fastest car, but it just doesn't deliver its power just as well. So uh, it'll be interesting to see if people choose to opt the Astra. Um, I know me for this season changing to the BMW was uh, an interesting change and I definitely enjoyed driving the BMW. But uh, all I'm going to say is don't expect me to be driving it for next season. <laughs> okay, right. <laughs> so, yeah, you're not in love with it then, that's for certain, sure. Oh, don't get me wrong. It was loads of fun. I thoroughly enjoyed driving the BMW. But uh, I want to go back to a championship winning position. And I think uh, one of the other two cars will be my best bet. Uh, currently, the house rocket... Uh, it, sorry, go on. I know, I was just going to say, so you're saying with the Astra, and I mean, I haven't driven the Astra, I've driven the Megane, um, I've driven the Megane in anger um, on this actual championship, the one we're in now, uh, and the Megane is, the Megane is, a, is, as we said, is the quickest, but is a handful. Um, the BMW is uh, a little bit more planted um, in its normal delivery into a corner when you turn in and so on and so forth. It doesn't snap like the Megane does, but being rear-wheel drive, it will turn itself around end-to-end. -end. Well, the Megane doesn't, uh, uh, doesn't uh, it snaps and the back end hangs out a bit, but you can usually catch it. But you're saying that the Astra is the quickest car on paper, um, but not in actual terms on the track. So are you telling me, I'm getting to a question in the end, um, are you telling me that it's going to be about setups? Is it going to be? Is it going to favour people who put the time in for practice and to set up the Astra? Let's say. Most definitely, I think the Astra does have the potential and the speed to be one of the quickest cars on circuit. The Mercedes definitely is. Uh, we're going reference to tier to lap tier one. Uh, John Boy actually nearly won the title in the Mercedes while racing against yeah. the Megane. So the Mercedes yep. does have the pace and the, the, the challenge. Uh, the only G has actually won a championship in the BMW as well. So all the cars do have a opportunity, but the Megane has just always been the stronger and more uh, favoured car. The option was to ban the Megane or have half the season wet and dry. And more people were favouring the idea of banning the Megane. So, yeah, in my opinion, setting up and practicing new cars is definitely an option and everyone will be in the same sort of situation. The only people who might have an advantage is the likes of Gary, TJ Humphrey, uh, Craig, people who already drive a different car, uh, will already, know already, how know their car already know how their car is set up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, well, as I say, I think it's a good move for next season and, uh, yeah, very excited about uh, to see who, who's on top and who's where with the different cars. And if it shakes, shakes up to the drivers a little bit, that's going to be very interesting. 
definitely so. As at the minute, the House Rocket is still the fastest man out on track. Grand Steen in second, and third is Stocko. These guys all battling it out to stay within that uh, top five uh, promotion. Um, but uh, no, looking looking good nonetheless for these guys at the moment. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. So, um, as I normally commentate on the Tier 1s, Dan, uh, we know um, that uh, BT Targa has, has wrapped the championship. Uh, just remind me who's in the hunt for second place. So, in the hunt for second place and here this evening, uh, there's a number of drivers. Uh, the House Rocker uh, is on 118 points. 112 points is Craig in third. So, he's only six points back from him. Stocko is uh, 107 points. So, he's still up for a chance of getting... Uh, second. Kurt V23 can still get second as well. Oakbar. Grandad Steen, amazing pie boy would have been, but he's not here. Um, but uh, there's about five, five or six drivers who are still up right. for taking second place. Okay, and uh, tell me um, how the relegation works here uh, on Motive, or, or should I say the, um, not the relegation, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, promotion. Uh, how does the promotion work on this? Is it the top three that go up? Top five. Top five, okay. Uh, top five have the opportunity to go up and move up into tier one. And, of course, the top bottom five of uh, tier one come down, don't they? Exactly, definitely so. So the bottom five of the tier ones would be dropped back into tier twos if they plan to stay on in touring cars. And then, obviously, the, uh, the tier two top five will end up being promoted into tier one. So, And then we go towards our European season. Ah, yes, European season. Yes, indeed. Um, looking forward to that as well. Um, yeah, all European tracks instead of British ones um, for the next season. Uh, and when are we thinking the next season is going to start? We haven't finished this one yet, to be fair. But when, when are we thinking the next one's going to start, Dan? Uh, good question. And to be honest, I'm not entirely true. Uh, uh, okay. look at, we're looking at the end of May, start of June kind of time. So right. roughly about three three week break uh from the touring cars and we will be back once again uh to uh to carry on an exciting season with these cars i do have to say yeah. though these british touring car the british circuits have really uh favored uh, uh it's been a, a popular channel here at motive and the guys the drivers i know for a fact have enjoyed this season running on british circuits and pushing it to um to the edge but uh European season is coming up, and uh, I actually do have the list for next year. Okay. Uh, just give me two seconds. Uh, while you're doing that, then, ten people watching at the moment, seven likes, just eight likes, as I just uh, just said that. Um, give, give us a hello in the in the chat. Let us know you're there. Uh, we'd love to hear from you. Evil Scotsman, what's up with the stream name? Um, it's been abbreviated. Um, it's been so, updated now. Uh, it's updated now, is it? Yep. Uh, okay, that's updated now, apparently. But anybody else, that's all the, the only comment I've got in my, uh, on my screen at the moment, as I just refreshed. But um, just give us even a hello. Hi, how you doing? Anything like that. Uh, we love your comments on the uh, chat, so uh, please do comment. Yeah, definitely Are so, you? as I've now found the European season. Yeah. Yeah. So, round one, round one, we will start things off in Austria at the Red Bull Ring. Uh, then we will nice. fly fly over to Zolder at Belgium for round two. Round three, we will go to Catalonia National in Spain. Round four, we will head to Brno, the Czech Republic, for round four. Round five is definitely going to be an interesting one, and most of the drivers will hate me for this one. But we will be heading to Monte Carlo, or Monaco, for yeah. round five. Round six will be Algarve uh, for or Portimao, Portugal, will be round six. Uh, round seven, we will go to Germany and we will go to Austria Slaven A, of course. And then we will finish things off at the high speed circuit of Monza, Italy. Going to be an interesting season nonetheless. And definitely no British circuits for next season. Oh, I see. Yeah. Yeah. I just noticed that. I was just thinking, is that because we're at the European Union thing? Or just, <laughs> just, that we've had a, just that we've had a season of all British tracks? 
we've had a whole season of racing at British Circuit, so I think it's best we have a little bit of a break. We've got one minute left of this session, and still the house rocker is the man who is the fastest guy out on circuit. Grand Astine is second, third is Stocko, fourth is Craig, and Maze rounds off your top five at this precise time. Yes, with only 30 seconds left this session, as you said, the house rocker is your man up front at the moment. We know it's going to be dry on circuit, um, so uh, we'll see how that translates and who's got pace then um, once we get to the dry. Your 30-minute feature race for the uh, Tier 2 is no mandatory pit stop, so it's, a, it's a, basically a 30-minute dash from, from lights to flag here at the uh, uh, Grand Prix circuit at Brands Hatch. Um, yeah, the, that uh, calendar for the next season, great to see that you, you've got Monaco in there, to be fair. Um, Monaco's a challenge, and I'd love to see the touring cars going round there, and uh, yeah, thoroughly looking forward to that one. Yeah, definitely so. Going to be an exciting European season for sure. And guys, if you want to be a part of the action, then make sure you head over to MotiveRacing.com to sign up that's, for yeah. the event. Uh, that's got to, exactly what I was going to say, you know. I was sitting there thinking, there was something I was going to say. And then I think, and then I thought, oh yeah, there it is, as you said it. Um, if you want to get involved, you want to sign up for it. We've been talking about it all the way through this qualifying session. So if you want to get involved, as Dan said, MotiveRacing.com, get involved. And that's us done, Dan. That's qualifying already. We have managed to get another driver and amazing pie boy has somehow managed to jump from one platform to another. The ACC event has finally finished, so we can now get our touring car event mainly focused here. Last round of the season. Touring cars was obviously pushed back due to uh, an ACC round on GT3s, but we are here. We're going to finish the season off as it should at Brands GP. Yeah. This is going to be an exciting night's worth of racing. Tier 2s is all trying to be staying in promotion, but Tier 1s, there is still a championship on the line. We will be looking at Laney, John Boy, and Delore, all three of them going for the title here this evening. But for your tier twos at the minute, the house rocker will start on pole position with Grand Astin in second, Stocko in third, Craig in fourth, Maze Gamer will start fifth, sixth is Kurt V23, seventh is Ugbar, eighth is Foul Guest, ninth with a dodgy steering wheel is BT Targa, tenth will be Amazing Pie Boy, uh, which we will be able to get underway here at Brands Hatch. And look at the conditions, Kelly. Typical oh, Brands wow. Hatch event. Yeah, I, I thought it was, I was under the impression it was dry for the uh, uh, for the feature race on the, uh, for the for the race on this one, but no, no such luck. Uh, British weather, <coughs> sim weather, has um, has has struck and it is persisting down out there uh, uh, at uh, at um, uh, Brands Hatch. But then uh, the rain started to fall for real at Thruxton on the last rain, uh, last race, last rain, last race of the day. So typical British weather, and what a way to finish the season in the rain. Definitely so. The Tier 2 is obviously, like I said, Championship kind of wrapped up with BT Targa taking the title. So we thought we'd have a little bit of fun with these wet conditions. Uh, a couple of comments we got in at the minute. James Laney saying, evening, guys. He's getting his last-minute preparation for the Tier 1s. Uh, Alan Stocko saying, come on, son. This is Snowman right here behind, as usual, his son. Uh, Fury says, let's go, Ugbar and Maze uh, for uh, Team Pro Lassie. And uh, there's a comment about uh, joining on Xbox, but sadly we are focusing everything on PlayStation 4 and PC. But maybe in the future we will be heading over to Xbox. But, Kelly, predictions. Race winner? Oh, uh, mm, um, mm, uh, uh, I think Grandad Steve. Why not? If you're going to go Grandad Steve, I'm going to go to the De House Rocker. So, guys, let's get your comments in. Let's get your predictions in on who you think is going to take the final race here in the Tier 2 category. The House Rocker, Craig, Stocko, Kurt. Ugbar and Grand Astine all battling it out for second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, and seventh in the title. Amazing Pie Boy also in there as well. Going to be an exciting race nonetheless, isn't it, Kelly? Absolutely. If you've been watching Touring Car all day like we have and uh, Formula One, it's been a uh, full motorsport day in our house and we're syncing up, ready to go. So don't go anywhere because the real action is just about to start this evening.
Yes, we're about to get ah. underway. Lights are on. Revs rise. And away we go here at a wet brand's hatch. Looks like Grand Dean has got a good start of the line. And he goes side by side with the house rocker as they go into turn one. It's going to be tricky for him as it's heavy rain here. But the house rocker hangs it out on the outside. But Grand Dean is down the inside as they go up into the hairpin right now. Cameraman struggling to sink. But Grand Dean takes the lead. But the house rocker gets the switch back and takes the lead back from him. Craig in the Mercedes isn't too far behind. Stocko losing out to Craig a little bit there as we get through the first couple of corners. Maze Gamer not too far behind and BT Targa from ninth is already up into sixth place. A good start for him. Uh, yeah, what we were saying about the Mercedes and other cars, look, up in third place. Craig is already there in third place. Uh, third place and he's just done Grandad Steen and moves up into second place in that Mercedes so we know the Mercedes can have pace um, but it's uh, the house rocker is out in front at the moment and uh, is starting to gap just a little bit from Craig in two and Grandad Steen in three as they come round for the first tour yeah, they come into the fast section. This is where some of the puddles might be appearing. As Grand Astine looks to the inside, the Mercedes of Craig goes a little bit wide there. And that's going to allow Steve down the inside. And he's got that position back. Maze Gamer just behind in the Monster Energy. Looks down the inside and pushes Craig out wide. That's going to give that oh. uh, Renault began a chance. And that's allowed Valgus also in the background to go back, uh, behind a little bit. But that's Maze Gamer. Uh, Stocko looking at trying to get past Maze. There's all sorts of moves going on for third, fourth and fifth. But Craig, the big loser out of that. BT Targa just behind these guys as well the current champion looking to find a way past it he looks down the inside maybe his wheel was started to fix and he is on the move look at bt go yes indeed he's uh, certainly made half the half the uh, half the field already um, in his first tour he was uh, in ninth place and he's now looking at fourth this is uh, uh this is our champion drives um, we'll see how good he is next year, uh, next season, should I say, when he steps up to the Tier 1 and see what he can do when he's there. But certainly, well, I say that on a charge as he bumps door handles. Oh, he got out of that. <laughs> it was all going off in front of him there, and he managed just to switch back and get out of it. That was a bit of, uh, uh, bit of work. This uh, my friend Kurt V there, um, Team Camber, um, as well as uh, along with these two mates, um, or a couple of mates he's got Putney and um, Delore and Vigla all team Camber um, and uh, Kurt having a good showing at the moment but uh, Grandad Steve back on a charge has uh, dragged uh, the house rocker back to a one second gap and he's chasing him down Dan Definitely so. He's got an amazing pie boy in the pits as well, either for a drive through or maybe he's uh, selected the slicks and it looks like he has and he's putting the wets on. So a little poor oh preparation dear. due to doing a, an ACC event, but he's back on the way. But the house rocker has got pressure from Grandad Steve. Craig is looking to try and make a move on the guys in front of him. Foul Guest and Kurt all battling it out. This is the fight. BT Targa has gone very, very wide. He gets back on circuit. Maybe his wheel hasn't sorted out just quite yet. Apparently it's very very sensitive. Oh. Stocko, Craig and Kurt all bowing it out, pushing each other side by side. Great little fight Absolutely. going on here. Yes, indeed. And uh, I'm going to stop talking about Craig because I, because I, I opened the show by saying the Merck's going really quite well. And now he's down into sixth place and he was second. Um, but certainly putting up a fight, that's for certain sure. Biggest fight on the track at the moment uh, is these guys, BT Targa. Um, he's chasing down foul guest. Uh, but that's... Oh, Ooh, who's that going wide. very deep? It was That's that? Kurt. Kurt, Kurt gone very wide. That's going to allow Ugbar and well. Craig back through. Yeah. Uh, Ugbar, uh, uh, Craig's lost out to Ugbar there. So Ugbar up a place, but he has got a time penalty by the looks of things. So he will obviously lose out to Craig at this precise time. But remember, we've only got uh, a 30-minute race here. So he's looking to try and gain as much time as he can. The house rocker, as gap has come down. It's now a tenth between him and Grandad Steen. And Amazing Pie Boy has left and joined again. Uh, as I think, yeah, Amazing Pie Boy has left. Grandad oh, Steen, Kelly, though, is right on the back of the house rocker. Look at this. Grandad Steen goes around yes. the outside. He gets the job done. Wow, that was a move. We just we only just went on board with it, and we saw him get it done. So uh, let's see if the house rocker can come back at him. See if he just got caught napping by Grandad Steve, or has Grandad Steve got that much pace? Um, well, we will find out in this in this uh, very very wet race here at Brands. So uh, the pack has kind of split up a bit. Poor old Craig has gone way back, way way back to uh, eighth place at the moment, and. Uh, um, trying to get back on the on the back of Ugbar, um, Kurt on a recovery drive as well after his uh, after he had a trip through the kitty litter um, just earlier. So he's on a return drive, but at the moment it's uh, they've all spaced out a little bit. Old 
the house rocker's got him back, Dan. Did yeah, you see that happen? The House Rocker back into the lead of the race. Maze Gamer is actually starting to creep onto the back of these guys as well. Lapping a little bit quicker than the leaders. So Maze will be looking to try and get involved as well. Maze joined halfway through the season uh, as a reserve. And I think he looks to try and carry on in Tier 2s for next season. Uh, looks good in that McGann. But sadly, all the testing and hard work he has done in the McGann will be all done for nothing. As he will obviously have to drive a different car for next season. The House Rocker go very oh, House deep goes there. Wide. Yeah, very very deep, uh, very deep into, oh, what is that corner turn, called? I can't remember. Sir turn T's, three. Is it sir? Uh, uh, yeah, whatever. <laughs> well, I'll just call it turn yeah. three. But Grandad Steen back down the inside and takes the race lead back away from the house rocker. Is this going to be a fight all the way to the end of oh, the race? So. Maze is actually really starting to get close to the back of these guys. Stocko and BT Targa are quite close to tent. Separate those two at this precise moment. There's a big gaggle of cars stuck together. Um, but this is the fight for the race lead at this precise moment. Yes, indeed, you're quite right. There's a gaggle of cars from, uh, well, basically, there's a, there's, a, there's a lead group, which is one, two, three, and then there's pretty much everybody else from four down to nine uh, are all in really close company. The only real um, gap is here where... Uh, oh, Falgas has gone deep. Who's gone deep? Stocko followed deep, him in. There. Oh, they both go into that. Just, uh, just compacts all that. Someone else went in there as well. The green car, whoever that is, and that's Ukbar coming back from seventh. He was just a moment ago um, to uh, uh, to uh, take that position back again. So it's a real scrap going on here. And um, as we go back to the front. Uh, Grandad Steve back in front at the moment but I think that's going to chop and change and uh, Mace Game has dropped back a little bit again pretty much in no man's land for a minute wants to get back on the front of these uh, these guys uh, battling for the lead because he's a little bit out on his own there at the moment um, um, the rest of the pack as we say from Ugbar in fourth all the way back down to oh, BT Targa um, going backwards down maybe that wheel problem is becoming more and more of a problem um, for him as he's uh, slipping back um, real quickly now and uh, yeah oh someone else goes deep that's uh, Craig going deep in the Merc uh, Kurt V gets up the inside of him makes that one stick and uh, back at the front the house rocker again is uh, uh, going to fight Grandad Steve for this one um, good racing so far tonight Dan don't you think yeah great stuff from these guys and uh, yeah also good Pat, uh, tap, pat, uh, pat racing in these tricky conditions here at uh, Brands Hash. Wet weather really coming in uh, and affecting the drivers at this precise moment. Um, so, yeah, the, the house rocker not looking as strong as he did in qualifying. No, no, he's uh, certainly got a challenge on his hand with Grandad Steele. Those, these two, um, I mean, they've gapped back. We've got uh, Mace Gamer in the middle, as we know, but they have gapped back to eight seconds to uh, to Foul Guest, who's got back in front of Oakbar after that terrible trip into the gravel. Um, him and whoever went in there with him, um, Stocko could have been. Uh, anyway, he's come back and he's managed to get right back in front of Oakbar and moving forward now. Um, so. Uh, yeah, beginning to uh, get back into his groove, is foul. Yeah, definitely. As they so, come, sorry, I'm just replying to a message, and foul guest is uh, ahead of Ugbar. The problem that Ugbar has right now is he has got that time penalty, and he'll have to try and clear the drivers as quickly as he possibly can. But uh, at the minute, he doesn't seem to have the pace to get past foul guest. Foul guest just looks like he's tiptoeing around at this precise moment. Yeah, he does, doesn't he? Although, you know, no. <laughs> No one's really bothering him, though, are they? Ogbar's not uh, coming up to the back of him real quickly. Um, Grandad Steele has been gapped a little bit. Uh, sorry, uh, the, the house rocker has gapped Grandad Steele a little bit by uh, eight tenths of a second now. So uh, Maze Gamer still in no man's land. So this is the best of what's going on right now with Foul Guest um, leading all the way back to Craig. Uh, really, all these lot in very, very close um uh, close quarters as they uh, battle through the the wind and the rain in this uh, uh, in this uh, we've lost BT BT target Dan. Oh, no, we've lost BT. Sadly, his wheel obviously isn't improving and getting any better. Such a shame for him. But uh, we've got Matthew Duffin in the comments. He'll be joining us a little bit later for the tier one saying, Oi, Kelly! Uh, Dan <laughs> and Sticky in the commentary box. Uh, Sweet will be uh, live... Uh, what's that say? Sick? Sweet will be live with Sticky. Ah, uh, live with Sticky soon. So, like soon, I said... Yeah. 
Sticky and Sweet will be with you very shortly. Sadly, you're going to have to put with me. I don't know what you're going to call me, but... Uh... Oh, I've got many main names for you, Dan. None of them I can actually say on air. Um, so, <laughs> <laughs> oh dear, oh dear. Yes, we, have, uh, we do have currently 16 people watching the stream right now and only seven likes. Guys, what are you playing at? These guys are put driving through the worst conditions possible. Hit that like button right now. 17 people now. We've only got seven likes. Do so. And if you like what you see, head over to our website, www.motiveracing.com and sign up to be involved of the European season. But Stocko... What, what? What Go stream on. are you looking at then? Because on my stream, we've got 16 viewers and 14 likes. Uh, mine's probably not updated. <laughs> there you go then. There you go. We got uh, we nearly got a full house of likes at the moment compared to the uh, uh, compared to the watching. Um, well, there, so, there we go. Uh, there we go. Yep. Now I'm updated. I got 13 likes apparently, and the 17 people watching. Uh, Matt yeah. Matt says uh, uh, useless useless runner, runner up. up. Don't know what you're Ooh, talking about. I'm not, a, I'm not a runner Must up. Must be somebody in a Honda. <laughs> oh, you just you, you you know that tier one is just going to be full of Honda references, don't you? You know what he's like. He's had his fix of British touring car today. You won't be able to shut him up. No, Will definitely you? not. As no. Uh, the funny thing is, there isn't a Honda even in our league. So, uh, which is a good thing, probably. So, uh... <laughs> oh, yeah. I mean, he drips on about the Acura enough on on uh, uh, on GT3, so um, I don't don't give him a Civic to talk about as well. That'd be horrendous. Yeah. But anyway, the uh, the legend is Matt Duffin will be with us uh, for Tier One, and uh, if you want to uh, um, tune in for the Honda jokes, please do so about eight o'clock onwards. But anyway, <laughs> back to this evening, eh? Definitely so. He says uh, two Hondas won uh, today, boys, but uh, it's not leading the championship. Sadly, a Ford is leading the championship. Uh, not going to yes. do any more spoilers on the touring car if anyone hasn't watched it. Oh, but, uh, I am. Fury, I in am. The, Fury in the comments says, uh, it's Friday then. It's Saturday, Sunday. What? What? <laughs> oh, dear. But the house rocker has retaken the lead and is ahead of Grandad Steen at the minute. So those two are battling out for the race lead. Uh, we're down to eight drivers now due to BT Target and Amazing Pie Boy uh, leaving the session. So Maze Gamer, Ukbar, Falgest, all these guys are uh, relatively close. Uh, Stocko now onto the back. Uh, Snowman in the comments saying, stuck in work. Uh, come on, Stocko. Great racing and thanks, guys. So... Uh, it's a shame the snowman isn't here racing. Would have been lovely to have him here this evening. But Stocko, his son, is trying to get a promotional uh, place for the Tier 1s. And he's all over the back of Falgas right now. Absolutely. And I was watching, uh, as we were chatting, I was watching Grandad Steve come back up uh, to two tenths of the house rocker. And then he must have made a mistake because he's dropped off the pace now. A uh, second and a half back from uh, the house rocker. So, um Either the house rocker has picked up some pace um, or Grandad Steve's lost some. Oh, he's two and a half seconds down now. So I don't know if he's uh, struggling. Oh, as we saw, always happens when I go off stream, doesn't it? Uh, yeah. Go off um, view. There we go. Uh, Stockholm has just got past Fal because Fal had a bit of a moment up on the grass. Easy to do up there, the top of the hill there, isn't it, Dan? Yeah, very easy to do so. And the Tier 1 guys will be struggling also in the qualifying session, which we will be having a wet qualifying session for them. But it's dry for most of the races here this evening for them. Uh, currently, Ukbar is in fourth place at this precise moment and pulling away from Stocker and Falge. So whatever penalty he has, he's making sure he's clearing the gap. And this is going to help it's, him get a promotion at the minute. Uh, who it's, in... Go on. It's, sorry, it's one second, his is, is thing. One second. So at the minute, yeah. Yeah, that he's uh, to be promoted up into tier one. Ugbar has only got Kurt. Uh, well, he's in that. Per, uh, well, he's in sixth place at the minute in the championship, and he just needs to pass Kurt, Stocko, Craig, or the House Rocker to get in there. And only uh, one of them are in their way, which is uh, the House Rocker, Grand Astine, at the moment in that position to be promoted as well. So these guys are looking good. We still have to wait for the stewards' inquiries as well, if there is any. But uh, we see you got Kurt and Falgas going side by side. Oh, Kurt had to pull out of that one. Yeah, looked like he got on the grass and a bit uh, a bit of wheel spin by the looks of it. Um, something like that. He was certainly twitching all over the place and had to get out of it. Um, as we see, uh, Fow had just got in front of him. Fow had, a, had another bit of a moment which lost him places. He was running in quite a strong fourth place earlier, but... Uh, a couple of mistakes have creeped in and have, uh, um, yeah, kind of ruined his race a little bit, haven't they? Yeah, definitely so. Uh, 
Just a comment here from BT. All right, Dan and Kelly, guided. The wheel is uh, all over the place. So sadly, we are unable yeah. to have BT Targa to finish the race. But by the looks yeah. of things, BT has probably wrapped up the title anyway. So still a massive congratulations to him. Um, even if the house rocker takes the race win and a fastest lap, he still won't get close enough to a BT. So BT is basically our tier two a champion. Yay. <laughs> I didn't mean that with all the enthusiasm. It did sound like I was <laughs> sounding a little, a little bit, bit sarcastic. Yeah, yeah. little, little yeah. bit patronising when I went, oh, yay. No, I mean yay. it with all the enthusiasm. Well done to BT Targa. These cars are not easy to drive. Um, I've said this before, and, you know, uh, from my experience, um, uh, racing in Tier 1 and Tier 2 uh, with these cars, they're not the easiest things. So anybody who, who wins a championship, well, Tier 1 or Tier 2, um, has my utmost respect for sure. While I was half asleep there, I just noticed that Ugbar has caught onto the back of Maze Gamer now. So Ugbar yes. is doing absolute bits right now he's doing some fast lap times and managed to catch maze maze must have had a poor lap or something the conditions are getting worse it's just normal rain here it's not heavy rain so the puddles will start to form and if they haven't learned where the puddles are they are going to be caught out maze run a little bit wide there gets on the curb but he managed to keep it on circuit but uh ukba will want to try and get this third place if, if he possibly can yes indeed and uh um I, I'm quite surprised Ugbar isn't a bit further up normally. He's, he's uh, um, I've raced with him before and he's been quick, very quick. Um, I don't know what he's done for the rest of the season, but uh, I know early season in Tier 2, he wasn't uh, wasn't qualifying very well and he does seem to be um, always on a recovery drive, does Ugbar. So I don't know. Um, I think you know him a little better than I do, Dan. He's, you know, he's, he never, he's, he's, he never he's, has the best of luck. He's always end up in first lap incidences. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he can be a bit aggressive himself. But uh, uh, to be fair, like I said, luck has never really panned his way. But uh, at the minute, he's doing good at, at the moment. Fourth place, uh, trying to find a way past Maze Gamer. I think this might be his first podium of the season, if he gets what, ahead of him. Maze? No, right. for Ugbar. Oh, if Ugbar, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, as I said, I don't think he's had the best of seasons. And, and you and me have raced with him. I, I think you've raced with him a couple of times before. But I, you and me have raced with him on an endurance race around uh, Le Mans track. And uh, he was quick that day, you know. Um, so don't take nothing away from him. Um, he has got the speed, that's for certain sure. As he's improving his lap time there and trying to find a way past Maze. Maze is trying to stop him getting away past uh, BT. Says, cheers, boys. Might need a new wheel for the Tier 1. Yeah, and you will need a new uh, car as well. So Treat yourself. Treat, treat yourself, BT. New wheel and new car. That's what you're going to need for yeah. next season. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, no. I, I agree. I'd, 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 I'd have both of those. I'd have a new wheel and a new car. No problem. Um, but, uh, yeah, go and treat yourself, BT. Have what, have what you like. Whatever you like. Yeah, whatever you like. Just just don't tell the missus, all right? She, she, she might yeah. get a little bit mad about that. Uh, but yeah. uh, just tell her you have a championship to go for in Tier 1. But uh, Ukbar at the minute all over the back of Maze Gamer. This is really the only fight that's going Ooh. on right now. Maze going really wide Maze there, taking a lot wide. of grass. Um, all, all we're going to get right now for Ukbar is a bit of spray. And uh, Maze goes, uh, gets that corner a little bit better. But Ukbar seems to get a better drive out that final corner as they come back into Turn 1. Already these conditions are bad enough. But uh, I'm sure these guys are struggling with tyre wear soon. Uh, yes, indeed. And um, Fow is on the way back as well. Um, uh, he's uh, fighting back. He's got himself a penalty. Um, it, the, but the closest battle on track really... Oh, and Ukbar. Is Ukbar just... Uh, Lost a bit of ground there. Maybe a slowdown. Yeah. Maybe a slowdown. He might have gone a little bit wide in turn one. Very easy yeah. to do so. And the penalties here at Brands Hatch can be a little bit harsh. And I think Maze has gone wide as well. Be, uh, looks like Ukbar gained another penalty there. A second yeah, by the looks second, of things. Yeah. So, two yeah. second penalty um, for, for Ukbar and a one second uh, for Foul Guest. Oh. who's on the move. On the move again as he tries to put, a, put one uh, over on uh, Stocko, that would be. And uh, Stocko comes straight back at him and does the undercut, gets back inside him again and goes on his way. But uh, uh, looks like uh, Fowl's on a bit of a charge. Kurt V just behind them, can't quite get back into uh, into contention on this one. But uh, if these guys are battling out, he might be able to get back on the back of these two um, very shortly if they're going to have a little bit of a, uh, a little bit of a scrap. 
Yeah, I think some of these guys have now got themselves into a groove. The likes of the House Rocker and Ugba were the quickest guys in the last uh, few laps. Both of them in the 38 twos. Uh, who else in the 38s? Foul guest uh, Kurt, uh, Craig, sorry, at the back is in the 38. A couple others as well. Of Maze Gamer. Grandad Steen seems to have lost pace as Ugba has now yeah. got past Maze. Uh, so Ugbar has managed to find a way past Maze Gamer. So Maze has now dropped to fourth place. Ugbar up a place, but he needs to gain a two-second gap. This should be interesting. Two pro Lassie drivers going at it here at Brands Hatch. And Ugbar at the minute seems to have the cut over his younger teammate of Maze Gamer, who's got a good run out of turn one. This might give him a chance into turn two. In the hairpin, Ugbar closing the door, but Maze oh. trying to force his way through. <laughs> really pushing his way through. <laughs> It's all a bit, uh, all a bit Matt Neal, that, wasn't it? A uh, bit of a push and a shove all the way around. Or should I say Gordon Shedden now for uh, pushing people around. Uh, <laughs> um, uh, slight spoiler for today's uh, uh, Touring Car. If you haven't seen it, you should have watched it earlier if you didn't want me to ruin it for you. Um, but, uh, yeah, a little bit of a, little bit of a um, spoiler for that one. But it uh, looks like ugbar has got it down now. Uh, and he's starting to drop Maze a little bit. So it looks like that fight is... Uh, is done for the moment. Um, Kurt now on the back of this uh, this fight between Fowl and Stocko. Um, Kurt's now just dragging him back in again. Poor old Craig. A couple of seconds back. So frustrating being there, Dan, isn't it? When you're like a couple of seconds just off a off a battle and you're just trying to bring yourself back into contention. Um, you know, even even maybe. Um, uh, maybe fighting for the last places, but it's still a fight, and that's what uh, um, certainly that's what I like. I like the the door to door stuff, you know. So um, poor old Craig just trying to get back. Kurt V just trying to get on the back of these two who are still scrapping out for fifth place, um, basically. And uh, yeah, that's probably the biggest battle on track right at the moment. Only got the eight runners as we lost a couple. Um, it looks like Maze is coming back at uh, Ugbar as well, Dan. Yeah, Maze is trying to get back onto Ugbar. He knows he'll have that time penalty. So will he want to just sit behind Ugbar and gain that position through penalties? I'm not would sure. You? But uh, at this point, uh, I would probably just sit there and just take the points. Uh, it's just... oh, I don't know if you would. I don't know if you would, Dan. I know you too well. Actually, if, yeah, if, deep if, down, if... I probably would attack. I probably yeah. would. Yeah, I, 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 I would. mean, I know I would. I know you got, uh, I know you got the penalty guy in front of you, but it's not really real racing if you don't go for it. So uh, you want to, you want to, you want to be in front on track, don't you? Yeah, I know Mays as well. He's definitely one of the guys who likes to be first on circuit. But by the this thing, Ugbar has got the pace over him. Falges still trying to get on the back of Stocko. Stocko just seems to have pulled a little bit of a gap. Uh, Kurt not too far behind either. Uh, Matthew Duffin says more like uh, Andy Neat. Uh, <laughs> well, well, let's get on to. Well, do we need to get on to Andy Neat? We'll discuss. We'll discuss that one later. I all think. I'm going to say Neat. is, all I'm going to say is, the drivers that are racing here in these wet conditions are doing a whole lot better than what Andy Neat done in the uh, in the touring in car the, race. It, all I'm going to say uh, is, none of these cars are upside down. That's all I'm going to say. Um, absolutely, and uh, yes, and uh, again, if if you if you don't want a spoiler, then um, you're listening to the wrong uh, wrong channel. But uh, Andy Neat. Um, uh, upholding his reputation of uh, of ruining um, um, what's her name? Jade Edwards. Is Jade there. Edwards. Andy. Uh, um, yeah. uh, what's his name? Gordley. Giddy or something Gidey, like that. Giddy, Gordley. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, G in the comments says, I think Andy Neat shouldn't be in British Touring Car anymore. I just don't think he should have been British Touring Car. Full stop. Well, unfortunately, we haven't got a vote to kick button, G. So I guess we'll just have, <laughs> if he pay, if he pays his money and he he puts the car on the track, then that's just for uh, that's just the way it goes, isn't it? You know. So until he does something where he gets race ban, then uh, um, I guess we will just have to keep on swearing at good old uh, good old uh, uh, Andy Neat, just in case he's uh, just in case he's uh, oh um, just in case he's down. watching. Falgas has now got past Stocko down the inside into the hairpin. Uh, Matt is probably going to be the man to uh, to, to uh, be telling all the name of the corners. But uh, Falgas has got past the front of Stocko. And he'll need to build that gap to uh, extend away from the penalties. Uh, LF. Uh, L4, no. Uh, sad truth is, Motorbase will keep him for the money. Uh, Matthew Duffin said he, sh haven't, he shouldn't race anymore, and Motor Racing puts the laughing emoji. Um, it is true that, to be fair, Motorbase would need the money, and they will keep Andy Neat for as long as they possibly can, but uh, it's just giving him a bad reputation, just a bit like Mazda's yeah. been, to be honest. 
Well, uh, funnily, me, me and my uh, me and my partner were uh, were chatting about this, um, you know, and 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 I think we chatted about it as well recently, Dan. That uh, uh, motorsport isn't about. Uh, yes, the, the, earlier today, wasn't it? F4. Uh, we were watching F4 open wheels at um, Thruxton, and uh, the guy who won the uh, who won that race, uh, I can't remember his name off the top of my head. Hardly. Um, is, I think it's Han- Hardly Hanley or something like that. Hanley could have been. Yeah, absolutely. Um, he won the race. Uh, won the race well, and uh, but is struggling to make the rest of the season. It's only round two, I think it is for those guys, um, but struggling to make the rest of the season because he can't afford to. And uh, unfortunately, <laughs> way too much, um, way too much money uh, orientated his motorsport right at the moment. But um, that's the way it goes, unfortunately. Yeah, Matt. Uh, Matt with another great comment here saying such a shame that money talks. So many talented drivers out there. Dean Masaki would do a better job. <laughs> if you guys don't see what uh, if you haven't seen Dean Masaki, he is a top driver on Simplay Motorsport. Have a look at their channel to see how good Dean Masaki really is. But uh, yeah, it's, it is a shame. So money. Moving on. Money, money does talk, and it's the same example as uh, Mazda Spin in uh, in F1. Yeah. He, he's in that car, completely useless. That's oh, we got a car well, off. Foul guest, isn't it? Foul guest is that in the wall. Foul guest. Oh, foul! What was that? I oh, did so well to get back up. Um, just a little mistakes put him right into the wall. That's unfortunate. Um, uh, and look, I was talking about Craig about five minutes ago, saying that you know it's frustrating being off uh, the back of the pack. Now he's past Fowl, who had an accident, and he's past Kurt, and now he's on the back of Stocko. So um, uh, it's coming back to Craig a little bit, isn't it? Yeah, four minutes left of the session. The house rocker has checked out and is leading away at the moment. Grand Astin is still in that second place. Ukbar has made that gap now on Maze Gamer and seems to slowly extend the gap. Craig gone very oh, wide there, yeah, now yeah. lost out to Stocko. So Sorry, Stocko. Craig. <laughs> Stocko will hang in there in fifth place. Craig uh, in sixth and Kurt in seventh. Falgas now at the back of the pack. The, the, remember the, this guy. The house rocker. Yeah, remember him. We haven't been on him for a while. Yeah, he's been way yeah, out man. in front. 38-0. I haven't, the only man close enough to that is Ukbar, who's actually caught Grand Astin. Look at that. The gap has come down. A 41-1 from Grand Astin. That was a poor lap from him. And now Ukbar yeah. is looking for a second place here. Yes, he is. He's staring down a barrel. As you say, Ukbar hasn't had a podium this season, so we believe. Um, he's now on the charge, and, and he's looking for the second place. Uh, I don't think he, he might do it. He certainly hasn't got time to... to uh, to catch the house rocker but but uh, we'll go another I don't know what we're going to go another two laps maybe um, depending on how uh, um, how it pans out but uh, he's certainly on a charge and he's looking at that second place now yeah he would like to put uh, <coughs> he hasn't put got a lot car. of fuel though has he Dan he's only got no, 2.2 litres of fuel Oh no, Ukbar yeah. really cutting it short here. Uh, yeah. Grand Astin has done his homework. He looks like he's got enough to get to the end. Um, so, House Rocky easily got enough. But yeah. Ukbar low on fuel, 1.9 litres. Oh. Uh, whereas he's the House struggle Rocker, to get this done. The House Rocker is about to start another lap. So, we will have two more laps, really, of uh, racing here at Brands Hatch. And Ukbar will have to pit. So after a great stint, oh, he goes deep oh, as well, which deep. doesn't help him. And he's going to no, miss the pits at, at this rate. So he does come into the pits. Ukbar oh. messing up the fuel there, and that's going to allow Mays back in front. Ukbar will drop down the pack. Stocko will go in front. Any, ooh, this will drop him last, won't it? This will drop him right out the back. He just needs enough fuel to get to the end. Uh, is anyone else struggling for fuel? Craig is uh, fine by losing 13 litres. He will get to the end. Uh, Kurt V23, plenty of fuel left in there. Foul guest is nine liters, yeah. So Ukbar once again failing to figure out the fuel and uh, having to pit. So such a shame. A strong just, drive from just, yeah. him. Just thrown away a podium with that. Um, um, yeah, fuel. Oh dear, it happens, doesn't it? Oh, man, his uh, game has gone wide. He has, and he could be under pressure for that last podium position in a minute. Um, as where is the house rocker? He's coming. Uh, he's on the GP circuit. We're going to get another lap after this one, in my opinion, um, for sure. But um, uh, as you can see, Craig is back on a charge. Stocko's right there. And Maze Gamer is under pressure as well. So do this you race think, is... A, do, you, do you think the tyres are gone for these McGann's? Because the only, the only driver who seems to be with uh, the House Rockers pace is Craig. And maybe the McGann's have burned their tyres out because they seem to be struggling with turning. 
They certainly do. Yeah, you're, you're quite right. And Craig seems to be um, the man with pace at the moment. And uh, uh, although yeah, House Rock is still going well. Uh, That's what I mean. The only, man to, the only man to match uh, the House Rock yeah. at the minute is Craig in the Mercedes. Yeah, yeah. So maybe the leaders have burnt their uh, tyres out a little bit. Craig being a little bit more cautious with the tyres. And it's now caught onto the back of Stocko and Mays. So He's going to have to get on with it. This He's is the last... Lap. This is the last lap. So can Craig get ahead of these guys at the minute? He's looking good for a promotion. The only one that's really ahead of him that could affect him is Grand Astin and Stocko. But they wouldn't gain enough points on him. So he's looking good to hang in there. Obviously, amazing pie boy here. Uh, not here at the minute. Ukbar has now dropped to the back. Kurt V is not really in a position either. So, uh, But this man, the house rocker, he had a little bit of a, 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 a close... Uh, I can't talk now. Yeah, a little bit of a moment uh, with a good fight with Grand Astin, but he looks like he's got the race under control and is going to take another race win here. But uh, Mays is still trying to hang on to that uh, third place position from Stocko. Well, I think Stocko had a look down the inside then, but uh, we are looking at the race leader, the house rocker, again, joining in halfway through the season. What he could have done if he was here for the whole championship, who knows, but he will be promoted up into Tier 1. He exits the final few corners. I'm excited to see that. Well, I say I'm excited. I'm going to have to be racing the house rocker, but... Uh, I see Craig goes very wide. It looks like he's not going to be able to catch him. But the house rocker exits the final corner here at Brands Hatch to take another race win. Two race wins this season. One at Silverstone National and another here at Brands Hatch GP. Congratulations yeah. to the house rocker. He will be promoted up into Tier 1 and Lister will finish in second place in the championship. Coming home in third place is Grand Asti. Great race from him. A gay the house rocker, a little bit of pressure, but a solid second place nonetheless for him. Now the fight is between Mays, Stocko and Craig, but I think Mays will hang on and complete the podium. Craig with a great run out the final corner. Can he get Stocko on the line? Mays, Pro Lassie for third, but Stocko will hang in there. Craig as well. Those guys will round off the top five. Kurt will finish home in sixth place. Falgest will finish in seventh and Ugbar will round off our eight drivers here this evening. Great racing from these guys. Hard conditions for all of them. Um, Kelly, who is your driver of the night for you? Um, I, I, think I'm, uh, I think I'm gutted for Ugbar. Um, I think he drove extremely well. And, you know, the misjudgment on fuel was, um, uh, was, was, was poor. Um, Grandad Steve was going well. Um, I think House Rocker, for me, I think he, he had, um, yeah, he had such a great race. Um, controlled when he was under pressure and extended and kept it all together. So um, I think the house rocker for me. Yeah, I, I'm going to have to agree with you as well. The house rocker had the race under control. He does not get the fastest lap of the race, actually. Grandad Steen does get the fastest lap of the race here this evening. So congratulations to him. But uh, that is it for the Tier 2, guys. Make sure you join us in a second for the Tier 1s. They will be doing their final season. The championship still on the line between John Boy, Laney and... Uh, Delore Championship on the line and also uh, Demotion uh, at risks as well so make sure you head over there if you like what you see guys hit that like button and subscribe head over to our website if you want to be a part of the touring car action from myself that is it for the season I will be uh, going into the car now about to start racing but uh, Kelly are you excited for the tier yep. ones absolutely absolutely we've got a championship uh, battle in our hands uh, between you're going to remind me Dan um, Laney, uh, John Boy and Delore Laney, John Boy and Delore of course you are so uh, it's going to be interesting to see um, also um, we're going to have to talk about um, last year's champion Xmark um, was it was uh, uh, helped along by Laney last year. Um, is Laney going to have the same sort of treatment from his very good friend and teammate Xmart in this one? It's going to be very, very interesting. So all you guys who are watching now, go and have a quick wee, have a cup of tea, whatever you need to do, and join us back because the best motorsport of the day is about to happen in about, I don't know, about 10 minutes' time. Definitely so. Make sure you join us in a second, guys. Right, we're just going to have a small break, but we'll be with you back momentarily.